Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and this is some footage from my live stream. I think it's really cool to do live stream footage because I, I always play with my subscribers in my live streams rather than like fight them from joining. And uh, it gives subscribers an opportunity to see themselves on my channel. So there it is, faking 56. <laughs> uh, you got to see you. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Uh, this video is about um, this, this question that I get all the time, right? I get uh, kids in school saying, you know, how do I get my parents to let me play Xbox? And I get adults asking me questions like this one. I know that sometimes my hobbies can get in the way of life and my relationship. When you mentioned your wife cooking for you and how that was a metaphor for everything else, I got that right on. But on the original note, man, you're living my dream. I hope that when I'm your age, I can have that family and that supportive wife that makes me tea while I'm gaming. I guess my real question is, how did you do it, man? How did you get your wife to really support you with your gaming? I don't mean once you became YouTube famous, but in the beginning, when you were just a gamer aspiring to live that dream. How did you go from working 8 to 5 to coming home and gaming till 3 a.m. with a dinner break in between and make it work. I assume that you have family time once in a while, and I've tried that too, but I don't have any kids, so I guess my responsibilities are not quite as high, but I would imagine that if I ever had a kid, it would kill all of my dreams. And she doesn't want kids, so that will help, but eventually I do. We're both aware of that difficulty. How did you make it otherwise? So that's the adult version of the question, right? The younger version of the question is like, Woody, my parents aren't letting me play Xbox. My parents are, uh, you know, forcing me to do my homework. My parents are doing this or that. You know, how do I, my, they took away my Xbox because my report card just came in and it wasn't, you know, what they expected it to be. This is like the other side of the same coin. You know, how do I get that to happen? So um, I thought I'd talk about that. The key to making this go, and it's probably not what you want to hear, but the key to making it happen is to get your work done. You know, when I was doing this, uh, you know, before it was like my real job, then um, I, I would get all my work done during the day, and then I would spend all my time with the family, and then after the kids went to bed, that was when I had an opportunity to play video games. That was when I played my Left 4 Dead and my Call of Duty or COD 4 and all that fun stuff. Like, that's how I did it. You take care of everything else first. If you take care of everything else first, then you're allowed to do that. You know, I bet that if you look at, like, most of the adults in your life, they... The, they're kind of hypocritical maybe in that they'll watch TV for three hours but they would see you playing video games for three hours and think that it's absolutely horrible and ridiculous and that's that's a weird way to look at it how do you get this to go you got to get your stuff done right you got to have your house in order and if you have that all set then you know you can get the things that you want if you're an adult, then that means, you know, getting your real job done. And, and this fellow here, I, I, I cut out some of his letter, but he, he gets his real job done. But, but if you're an adult, then, you know, that means getting your real job done and spending time and making sure that your life, not your life, your wife and your family feel loved. And then when that's all squared away, when you have that stuff locked down, then you're able to do the gaming stuff. That's when your hobbies, you know, pick up. If you're in school, you got to get your homework done, right? If your grades are in order and, you know, your social life is set and, and you're, you know, a happy, healthy kid, then your parents are quite likely to let you play your video games. You know, if they look at you and think of you as, as pretty much a, a successful teenager, a teenager that, that kind of has things going on, that, that has his act together, then they're, they're much more likely to let you slide and, and let you, you know, make decisions about how you handle your spare time on your own while... If you're failing school, if you're struggling in school, and, and if you're in that situation, then um, you know your parents might even be right about your Xbox addiction. You know, I'm using air quotes there. You know, the, your parents might even be right about the fact that you're on your PC or, or PC gaming console. You know, too much, and that uh, you know, you're, you're letting it uh, overwhelm some of the more important things in your life. Now, I'm in a lucky spot right now, right? I'm in a lucky spot in that, um, you know, when I play games or make videos or, or things like that, then in my house, it gets this, the kind of, um, you know, authority or respect that, um, that like a, a regular job would, right? Cause this is how I put food on the table. But, um, before that, before that, it, it was really a matter of making sure that, you know, my job, my family, my kids, all that stuff was squared away before YouTube. And now, um, kind of like a regular job, it mixes in in terms of priorities with other stuff, right? You know, I wouldn't want to say that, like, I put YouTube in front of my children, right? That would be the wrong way to state it. Tied for the lead. But, um, you know, it, it, look, when you have a regular job, sometimes you work weekends. You know, does that mean that you don't love your family? You're not spending time with them? No. It just means that you know, sometimes you, it, 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 prioritizing work doesn't always mean, like, it's because you don't love everybody else. It, it can mean that it's... Uh, 
you know, just the way that things go. Winning! And uh, and I thought I would answer that, right? So it's it's kind of an obvious answer, and it's kind of a, a simple thing, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. It, that's, uh, you gotta get your other stuff squared away. And when you do that, the world will just, you know, line up in front of you and, and you know, respect you for the decisions that you make. And there you go. Sorry, God of Death. Second place for you, my friend. And uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and let's get to the outro. Two other videos you might like. The top one is what I think of as like a special video. You can click on all these, by the way. They open in new windows. The top one is a special video. It, it's me shooting an ACR in real life. That's IRL. And then I go into a, a quick game and I do Modern Warfare 3 using the ACR. And I kind of combine them together. It was an idea that FPS Russia gave me last night to try. And uh, the bottom one is this game. But it's this game in the live stream. So you get to like see my reactions and my talking and the other teammates and stuff like that. And, and it's really a lot of fun. You can check it out if, uh, if it interests you. Uh, if you like this video, click that like and like button. Show it some love because uh, it helps us grow the gamer tag nation and uh, you know that that's always a good thing surprise video on the right subscribe on the top if you like this and uh, t-shirts facebook and twitter at the bottom and have a nice day